guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Seasons. It is a rainy Monday morning. Everyone's getting up and ready, but it looks like a little girl named Hilda might be outside. Can we go say it? hi and ask her what's wrong? I really want to adopt this dog. She's not showing up as a stray right now, though, so... Oh, that was a weird, like, real slow and then running onto our porch and into our house. Okay. <laughs> Where did she go? I want to say hi. What is wrong? Oh, there's food on the floor. Oh, she's hungry as I take food away from her. I'm doing real good right now. Uh, but I think we might be adopting yeah, her. And since that. she's not showing up as a stray, we might just have to cheat her into our household. But she looks like, really dirty, possibly sick. Uh, can we... Oh, we can't call her to eat. Uh, what's wrong, girl? Are you okay? Oh, she is hungry. I mean, there's this. Do you want that? I don't I don't know how else to ask you to eat it. <laughs> you want it? Oh, can we just give her a treat? Uh, let's do that. Do you want that? All right. Ooh, level six parenting skill. That's really good for Tegan. But we give her a treat, so that's something. Let's go ahead and pat her, and I think we're going to... Ooh, where are you going? We want to keep you. <laughs> I want to give her a bath. She's just running a little bit wild. So I think we are going to cheat her into our household. But um, for the moment, I think kind of wild trying to find her and stuff is kind of fun. So we're going to go give her a bath. Oh my goodness. Look at this precious baby. I love her so much. I already like, oh, I'm so excited. And uh, I feel like her name is really unique. It's not one I ever would have picked out, but I really like it. So we're going to go ahead and give her a bath. It looks like we're getting a phone call. Congratulations on your recent birthday. Thank you, Thomas. You had a birthday with me. Uh, we really got to make him over, but I did go ahead and change Maisie's shorts. And I also really want to update her room because it's a little bit childish, just a little bit. <laughs> but first, I mean... I think we're adopting a stray dog, so uh, we gotta bathe her first. I think that's top priority. Look at this precious. Oh my goodness, she is so cute. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm sorry. I have like a soft spot for dogs in general, but particularly Rottweilers because I've had three of them and I grew up with them. They're like my babies, so my heart's melting just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Oh, so we're going to clean her up. And, oh, Claude is in a bad mood. Is he jealous? Oh, he just has a very stinky, oh my gosh, that is so bad. A uh, class presentation. Maisie has to prevent in front, prevent, present in front of the entire class. Should she go all out or do the minimum? We're going to go all out. Uh, performance gained medium. That's good. We haven't been able to do any homework yet because she just became a teen. But hopefully we'll get her grades up and we'll work on some more scouting when she gets home as well as update her room. Stuff has got to be almost clean. She doesn't even have the task anymore. It's just, we're still cleaning her. I don't know what's happening. Can, can I go do anything else? Is the dog stuck in our bathtub forever? Like, <laughs> what is happening? We're stuck. We're gonna have to reset. Reset Sim Poppy Amore. Okay, okay, there we go. Just got a sudsy pup now. That's so cute. Okay, the bubbles are just kind of still existing. I do need a picture though, cause I think it's super cute. Like sudsy pup, oh my gosh. Is this not the cutest picture? Oh my goodness. I mean, it's a little derpy. It's a little derpy, not gonna lie, but it's really cute. Sudsy pup. Oh my goodness. I just wanna hug her so much. Look at her. Okay, okay. That's enough pausing. Oh, she's so cute and she's so clean. All right, so we're gonna use our cheat nifty cheats right now. And we're going to go like this, and we're going to say, add to family. Ooh, she is not in a happy mood right now, though. Okay, so let's see if we can get her to, uh, can I call her to food now? Now that she's in her family. Oh, my God, we just adopted a dog. Uh, okay, call pet to eat. Hilda. Hilda, go eat. You want to eat food? Are you a good girl? Oh, she's so hungry. I'm so excited to have d adopted her finally, because we saw her a while back. And I've been wanting to add her to the household, but we just haven't had the chance yet. All right, now that we have her, though, I'm going to have Poppy work on this. And I think we're going to have um, Tegan go ahead and take Hilda for a walk in a little bit uh, when she fills up on food. I don't know what else is negatives for her, but I think we're going to take her for a walk. Uh, let's see. She's still not feeling 
happy. What's wrong? Well, I hope she's not sick. We just got her. Are you okay? What's wrong? What's wrong? She didn't tell me what's wrong. What's wrong? You want to tell me what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, she needs to go to the bathroom. Okay. All right. Um, which is perfect because we were just talking about uh, taking her for a walk. Let's leash her, please. Oh, such a cutie. Okay. Now let's go for a walk. Do I pick that on me or on her? I think we do that on her. Also, I love her spiked collar. That's kind of cute. Um, pet care. Go on a walk. A uh, short walk. Let's let's just go do that and see if we can get her to go to the bathroom while we're out on our walk. We've made it to the backyard and we're asking her to go to the bathroom and she's going. Good girl. Uh, but I do want to continue the walk too. So go on an adventure together. That sounds so cute. I want to do that. Where did she go? Oh, she's right there. Oh, she went to the bathroom. We're going to want to clean that up unless we want a trash plant. Oh, are you automatically cleaning it up? No? You're just going to go on an adventure together in the poop? Why are you chasing your tail, little girl, and stepping in poop? That's kind of gross. But it kind of sucks that it's raining so much. Hilda is an adventurous dog. Watch out. They might return from a night out on the town with more than they had before. <gasps> Does that mean if she's not fixed, which I don't think she is, that if she runs away, she might come back pregnant? I'm not sure how I feel about that, but it could be interesting. But I do want to continue this walk if we can. I'm not seeing the walk option. That's kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. We can still pet her and just tell her she's a good girl. Maybe play like with some... Oh, it says we're going on an adventure together. That's why we couldn't see the walk, probably. Uh, pet care. Yes, go on a walk. Let's go for a short walk. Oh, she's hungry. Never mind. We're not going on a walk. Let's get her to come eat and then we'll clean up the poo. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm so excited. Uh, let's see if we can set the timing on this to set schedule time. That's every one hour. Make sure it's always full because I mean, we're going to also fill this bowl so we can make sure she has some food. We're going to have call her to food right now. Call pet to eat Hilda. Maisie returned home with a school project. And she is a B student. Okay, that's not too bad. I do want her to update her room, but for right now, I think we're going to go upstairs and go here. Let's see what that school project is. Uh, the new one is an electricity experiment. We don't have room for it in our <laughs> room. All right, I guess it's time we should just delete some stuff in here and push stuff to the side so she can work on the project, and then we will update her room afterwards. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's bring that back. Do we want the drawing that was on that? Yeah, just keep it just in case she wants it. I don't think we need this anymore. Uh, no. We should keep these. They're kind of cute. I mean, I don't know. Just get rid of a bunch of stuff and we'll update this in a little bit. I just want to make sure she can do her project first. So let's go ahead and grab that so she can come on up here and... Start working carefully on that. Maybe we can invite over Thomas. I didn't make over him yet. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll make him over while he's here. But we can work on that together. She hasn't even got to meet the dog yet. So that should be exciting. Where is Hilda? She's in here. She still looks dirty. Is she? Or is that just like she has kind of a broken pattern? She's still so cute though. And she wants that tail. She really wants that tail. Why are the dogs in this game... Just the cutest thing ever. Like, she looks so derpy, but she's so cute. I just, I can't. I can't handle it. Oh, she's just like, I can't catch it. Such a cute dog. Okay. All right, let's 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 focus a little bit. You're eating food. You're sleeping. How are the plants, though? And did you do what you need to do? You need to harvest flowers. Didn't we already harvest everything? Oh, no, we sold everything. No. Okay, we're going to have to find a place that has flowers we can harvest or just... Does it have to be flowers? I know it says flowers, but can I harvest something else? That's the question. And also, where is there something to harvest? I feel like there's lots of wild plants around. I just don't know exactly where they are. So, so we're going kind of on a wild goose hunt right now. That's a rock. That's a stinky leaf pile from a very long time ago because it is summer. It has not been fall in a long time. There's another one. That's good. All right. Well, I'm not seeing any flowers. Hopefully, we'll find one or we might have to travel for this. I don't know. Nothing's around. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't notice that. That's so unfortunate. 
I just searched everywhere for community garden or anywhere in this area as well to see if we could find anything to harvest and I found nothing so that that's great uh but how is oh we stopped working on the project and the cat is just sleeping next to it great we're doing great all right um can I throw this in somewhere like in here maybe for the moment so we can redo this room and kind of update it for our teenager because this is not a teenager room right now at all oh gosh I feel like I don't want those still but at the same time like we made them when we were a kid I kind of want to keep them but I don't know I don't know what to do uh maybe her parents want to keep them maybe they'll go in like the hallway or something that's kind of cute right maybe I don't know I'm guessing because I just don't want them in her room because I feel like she wouldn't want them in her room we don't need this and I guess we could keep this maybe this will go above her bed or something although I feel like it's not really her um I can go in the window I guess so I think we're gonna paint the whole room this greenish color because I think it's quite nice and let's get a rug I'm just gonna do this in real time so you can see my thought process. I don't think we're gonna make it too crazy. Maybe we'll just get like a simple one of these rugs from Laundry Day. Yeah, I mean, she's pretty outdoorsy and has kind of a neutral style. So I think something like that could work. Um, I don't want something too expensive, but we'll get her a bigger bed. Um, I mean, we might just get her one of like the city living futons just cause they're cheaper. Uh, ooh, this one's cute. We could do that one. And let's get some side tables that match. Although that's always an issue. I have so much trouble finding side tables that match anything. And that's my rabbit protesting <laughs> that she wants more pellets, but she's not supposed to have more pellets. So she's not getting any more. Uh, so she's probably going to make a fuss for a bit. Oh, these, these are pretty cute. Let's turn on move objects though. So we can place this. Uh, perfect, perfect. I mean, it's already looking more teenager-ish, I think. Uh, we're not gonna go too in depth, I don't think. Um, should we have blue curtains to match like the pillows? I kind of like that. We could do that. Yeah, let's, blue curtains it is. I don't think she's gonna settle down. I I I stopped recording for a minute because I thought she was gonna, you know, just do her thing for a couple minutes and then settle down, but not yet. This looks really cute so far though. Uh, to go with the athletic thing, maybe we should. Oh, she's also creative. Oh goodness. Um, did we even get? Does she have the creative thing or did we just not give her that? Because she was working on arts and crafts for her for her um scouting. So we're gonna get her an easel. Whether she keeps up with that, I don't know. I think we're gonna get her a couple of things so she can kind of pursue whatever she feels like doing. Uh I think we might get her like a yoga mat, but that's wellness, not fitness. But with that would that count towards being active, like with her active skill, I'm not sure. Or not skill, her active treat. I think it would count. So I think we're gonna get that and see if she's into that. Although uh, I feel like she wants to get fit. I don't know what she wants. Let's get something to start with. I think a treadmill is too expensive. So we're gonna get her a punching bag for now and see if she likes that. I don't know. Not really tested much of this out, but I mean, this is just the start of her. She doesn't even have a dresser, but um, I don't use the dressers that much in game anyway. So I think it's okay. Uh, oh, we left her school project in here. Can we fit it in the room now? I mean, now that we move objects on, we'll be able to fit it anywhere. I think it fits here anyway, though. All right. Uh, and I think Thomas might be on his way over. I don't remember. Let's work carefully on that. Is Thomas here? I don't recall if I called him over or not. I think I did, but I don't see him, so maybe he didn't come over. That's fine, though. We can just work on stuff on our own and hang out with him another time. Uh, but this is definitely a much more teenage room for her or just grown up in general so she's just gonna sit down here and work on her stuff uh i never had projects like this can you imagine i, I mean did, did anyone else have projects like this in high school or middle school or whenever because i did not so that's intriguing to me oh are we getting a phone call oh, it's thomas oh, he wants to go to the see fireworks with us Oh my gosh, is this the beginning of like not doing what we're supposed to in school because the boy wants us to go someplace with him? Ooh, um, I mean, as long as you get your stuff done, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Apparently seeing the fireworks is code oh. for coming over to his house, uh, where his whole family's home 
and it's awkward and it's still his childish bedroom. I mean, I guess this is a good time to maybe have me give him a makeover, but maybe not. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna put that off. And I know I said last part, I was gonna do it before this part, but I recorded this part immediately after that one. So <laughs> I didn't do it yet. We're just walking in here and grabbing books out of his room. Okay, this is just awkward now. Uh, I'll catch you later, Thomas. Let's, let's go home. Um, I thought we were going to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Did I like read that wrong? Because I read Humor and Hijinks Festival. Ooh, back home from that awkward situation. Plus we're kind of stinky, so it's probably good that we're home. So let's go ahead and take a shower. I don't, I don't know what that was. Oh, she has to start her homework too. All right, so we're gonna have her do that and probably work on this project some more because I'm excited to see what it turns out to be. I don't remember. Is the electricity one like the robot? I feel like that's the only electricity one I can think of, but there's probably another one. So we're gonna have her just work on that stuff. We didn't look at her scouting stuff at all since she aged up. Oh no. Ooh, I wanna see her scouting uniform as a teenager. I'm just like torturing this girl. <laughs> I'm giving her so many things to do. She's so hungry, too. I'm just really excited to explore her life more. Oh my goodness, look at how cute! I mean, it's the same outfit. She's just a teenager now, so it's, like, different in that regard, but that's cool. All right, um, let's do our progress again, because I haven't done that in a bit, and see how we are doing. Uh, I think we're... We were, oh, keeping fit will be good because that's, she's active now. Uh, arts and crafts progress. Uh, so we're just about to get that badge. So that's good. All right, cool. So we need to paint something. That's important, but we're not going to do that now. Instead, we are going to do our homework because that's more important right now. We need to get the skill up. Apparently we're going to go sit on our baby brother's bed and do our homework. That's, that's fine. Cash shortage. It's finally end of Tegan's shift, but she can't go home yet. The cash register's short. Tegan knows this wasn't her doing and has to decide whether to report her coworker or keep quiet about it. Report your coworker. I'm sorry. It seems this isn't the first time the registers come up short. After being fired, Tegan's coworker yells at her. Oh no! But we got a performance gain. We did the right thing. I mean, somebody lost their job, but they really should not be stealing from the drawer. So just saying. Oh no! What is wrong, baby girl? I think she has to go to the bathroom. I'm assuming. Yeah, she does. Can you ask her to go to the bathroom, please? Please? Go potty? Hilda, go to the bathroom. You can go. I'm asking you to. I just asked her to. She didn't. She didn't. Oh, okay. Are you going now? I just asked you to go to the bathroom. Please go. Don't be in the house. Go outside. Alright, I think she's finally going. Yay! Good girl! I'm so proud. Oh, we have to clean up the poop. Ugh, I keep forgetting about that. Alright. Do we have the trash out here or is it in the front? Oh, it's inside, isn't it? All right, so let's see if we can grab these little piles here and drag them into the trash. Maybe we should get a trash outside too to make this easier, maybe? I don't know, just an idea. Uh, but all right, where were we at? You're just standing in here. Everyone's in the kids' room, like, could, could we not? Oh, she is so exhausted. Are you still starving? Yes. Oh, I'm going to be overworking her. I feel like teenage years, you just have so much to do and you can't get it all done. Same thing with young adult years, like going to college in particular. Ooh, okay. You're going to have chicken nuggets because that's what you have time to make right now. All right, let's, no more homework right now. And she's going to put it down randomly probably, right? Or did you, ooh, she actually put it in her inventory. I feel like my Sims with their high school homework, just leave it anywhere. So I'm very proud of her for doing that. So let's just make these nuggets fill up that on that maybe finish her homework because it's kind of an important thing to do each um and then ugh, we have so much to do for badges active like being more active obviously doing well in school projects and then your parents need to get some promotions so we can afford some more stuff lucas is gonna be aging up it's almost like well everyone's birthday is this week poppy's birthday is in two days tegan's birthday is to tomorrow and Lucas is in, what, three days? Yeah. So there's a lot of birthdays in the next coming parts. I think there's only three parts left too. So, oh my gosh, this Let's Play is coming to an end very soon. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I know I was about to say not much happened, but I mean, we adopted a dog and we made over Maisie's room. Uh, and I think we'll be going out a little bit more in the future, especially as she starts having some more... Um, 
teenage love interests. I don't know if there'll be more people, but I think her and uh, Thomas are going to continue to be friends and that might blossom into something new. We shall see. But I, because I think she definitely had a crush on him as a child and I think he felt the same way. And I will definitely give him a makeover before next part. Or I could do it in the beginning of next part. Let me know if you guys want to see me do it. Like kind of like how I gave um, Maisie a makeover last time on camera just like sped up let me know and i will do it that way and we'll probably have them go out and hang out somewhere sometime next part any ideas you have please let me know and let me know what you think of hilda because i'm pretty excited about her and she's sleeping upside down in the baby's room because she's an adorable baby and i love her so much anyway i'm gonna end this here thank you guys so very much for watching and i will see you all next time bye everybody <laughs>